I want to verify this formula by induction. Now to do that, we need to show that the formula is true if n is equal to 1. And then, assuming that the formula is true for n, it must be shown that it follows that it's true for n plus 1. So that's what we're going to do. If you plug in n equal to 1 on the left, you just get a times r. If you plug in n equal to 1 on the right, you get a over r minus 1, I factored the a over r minus 1 out, times r squared minus 1, I mean r squared minus r. And now the r squared minus r is just r times r minus 1, so the r minus 1's cancel and you have a times r, so that's what this reduces to. So when I just plug in n equal to 1, it works. And that's the first step. Now, suppose it's true for n. So suppose the formula is true for n. Then I want to look at this sum here on the left that has an n plus 1 here and see what I get. Here's the sum. And by the way, we do sums. That's the sum up to n plus the n plus first term. And now by this induction hypothesis that it works for n, there exists a formula for this, namely right here. So now I have this minus this plus this. And all I have to do is simplify this expression and see whether I get this with n replaced with n plus 1. So that's what we're doing here. We have uh, these terms here, and then this term is equal to uh, itself times r minus 1 over r minus 1. Then I can multiply this through. And now I just have to add these up. When I add them up, I have an a r to the n plus 1 minus a r to the n plus 1. That part canceled. And so then I just have an a r to the n plus 2 minus a r over r minus 1. And that is exactly, see, that is exactly the same thing that I have here, except that everywhere I see an n, I replaced it with an n plus 1. Because n plus 1 plus 1 is the same as n plus 2.